It's the Saint Uno Show. How was that? What's going on, world? It's your man, Saint Uno, back again for another one. Welcome to the Saint Uno Show, and this is my inexplicable head wrap. Speaking of inexplicable head wraps, Sway is in the headlines once again. Um, so about 10 years ago, there was a viral clip um, that went viral, because that's what a viral clip is, it's a clip that goes viral, um, of, of, a, of a Sway and Kanye interview, where Kanye was telling Sway that Sway does not have the answers. Sway, you don't have the answers, was the, the famous line from the clip. Um, but as of late, Kanye has been in the news um, for ending his Yeezy deal with uh, Adidas and Gap due to the fact that they weren't um, abiding by certain guidelines that he had set up in the deal. He felt like he was being ignored. And the deal just kind of sort of ended up being not exactly what he wanted. So he terminated the deal. And now, of course, it's a big whole thing because um, these corporations are saying that they own the name and brand Yeezy so he can't sell anything under the Yeezy title or even like say the word Yeezy so you know this is kind of crazy um, but you know it's not the first time in history that this has happened where like a corporation um, buys and owns a person's likeness and even prevents that person from using their own likeness um, another similar case to this is the the famous Amos cookies if you're familiar with Famous Amos, the guy they have on the box, well, he actually sold his likeness to Famous Amos. And, um, you know, once the money ran dry from that deal or whatever, he tried to use his name to sell his own cookies, you know, um, with his own different cookies, not the same Famous Amos recipe, but a different recipe. And Famous Amos actually ordered a cease and desist on the Famous Amos man because he was, he, he gave his life, he sold his soul to the devil. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the devil is, you know, no particular one person. But this is just a, a metaphor to kind of help us understand that when we're doing um, business in this 3D world for monetary gain, to get ahead, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, not all money is good money. Not all deals are good deals. And at the end of the day, your soul, your spirit is your own solo individual spirit. So. If you're in a space where you have to give away your own individuality um, because you want to make a lot of money or you want a lot of fame and acclaim and stuff like that, just know you're going to have to uh, reap the consequences of that. So while it may be kind of long and arduous to start up a brand from scratch and say, no, I want to maintain my own likeness and do it my way, because I get it. It's appealing, right? These companies, these, companies, these corporations, they have big, um, expansive networks and they're able to get your products out, you know what I'm saying, through whole distribution pipelines and are able to make you kind of famous overnight and that's a hard, it's a, that's a hard temptation to fight. But at the same time, um, you know, that's why these people are kind of living examples of what to do and how to stay true in a room full of vultures, shout to Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, it may be hard and long, pause, to do things God way, but at the, at the end of the day, that helps you prevent situations like this where you're not able to use your own individuality, your own solo spirit, your own likeness um, to kind of navigate this world that we're in because you sold it and you gave it away to a company. Now, I don't even think it's right in the first place that like, I think the whole system needs to be, you know what I'm saying, uh, abandoned, you know, for most part, um, you know what I'm saying? We need a revolution of sorts because the fact that someone can buy your likeness um, it's just crazy to me. Like no one, you know, it's, it's, it's and, and then you, you, this is kind of why people want, I, growing up, I wonder why, you know, uh, Prince got slave, like tattooed. I don't know if that was a permanent tattoo or something. I don't know. I think he got slave tattooed on his face or somewhere on his body, or at least like he wrote it on his face or something like that. And it kind of, I'm thinking he's being dramatic, but it's no, that's really what it is. Like, when, because it was the same situation with Prince, he wasn't able to, um, that's why he had to become the artist formerly known as Prince and no longer just operating under the name Prince because he sold his likeness to a record company and they said, you're not able to do this now that you're not under our contract anymore. Um, the fact that corporations and companies even have the right to do that and enforce that 
to me is just, it's not right, it's not cool, and um, we need to have some sort of uh, protection. And if, not, and if we're not gonna have any sort of protection, then it's just on us to, um, to learn from these people who came before us and not even do business with these corporations and companies um, until they, because we have the power, you know what I'm saying? They, these com they have the pipeline, they have the infrastructure and things that do like that, yeah, but they don't have, they can't make Yeezys, you know what I'm saying? They can't, they can't make um, a Prince album, you know? They can't make famous Amos cookies. So at the end of the day, we have the power. And until we realize that we have the power and not them, we're never gonna be able to, and just learn how to organize that and set up our own infrastructure, no matter how small it may be, you know? Until we can do that effective, effectively and efficiently, then we're going to continue to be robbed by these um, large companies and organizations who have the power and the legal capacity, you know, to, to enforce these kind of bobbycock rules. I hope I use bobbycock correctly. I don't really know, but it sounds, sounds right. Bobbycock! But anyway, I was talking about Sway. So yeah, um, so now that Kanye has terminated his deal with the Gap and with um, uh, Adidas, he's basically going out on his own and selling, um, you know, his own. Well, it's not going to be easy because they own the term easy, but he's selling his own clothes directly to the consumer. And if you will play the viral clip for you from 2013, this is what Sway was telling Kanye. It was like, well, why don't you just you know what I'm saying, take a step back and do it on your own and realize that you don't need these people. <laughs> and Kanye goes, how, Sway? You don't got the answers, Sway. You don't got the answers. And as a huge Kanye fan, you know, it just shows you, like, at the time, I kind of believed Kanye just because he was so, you know, passionate. I'm like, yeah, Sway don't understand how it is to navigate that world, you know. Kanye knows best. Kanye knows all. He is a god and all that kind of shit. But, um, at the end of the day, um, Kanye had to recant his statement and give it up to Sway and say, yeah, Sway did have the answers, actually. So that just shows you, again, that even though you may idolize somebody and we look up to these big celebrities and they may be able to do this, that, and the third, at the end of the day, they're not infallible. Um, they make bad judgment calls, and they're human, just like you. And you shouldn't use that against them. You shouldn't say, oh, well, I should have never listened to Kanye or I should have never looked up to him. No, you can still look up to him. But just realize that, you know, they're humans just like you. And this can actually be a source of inspiration and can motivate you to do um, whatever it is that you want with your life. Because, like I said, these people aren't, they don't have any superhuman powers. They just, you know, they dream big and then they made, made a plan and they execute, you know, until it works out. So, um, yeah, these people don't have superpowers or anything like that. So you can't really get mad at them when they make the wrong decision. At the same time, um, you should be, you, you, got, you actually got to, be inspired by them to do it what you want to do with your life and realize that um yeah no one is perfect we're all just spirits and bodies down here trying to figure this thing out so um you know much love to sway much love to kanye you know what i'm saying just um some good celebrity entertainment but we, you know we're going to extract the, the the spiritual meaning behind it and learn that you always got to do things in the long run it's always better to do things god way and what is god way it's, you know what I'm saying, by yourself. Now, you always need, teamwork makes the dream work. So, yeah, you got to connect with people, but never at the expense of your own um, uniqueness, your own individuality. You never want to, quote, unquote, sell your soul away. You know, you can collaborate with people and help everybody get to where they need to go because it's, teamwork is necessary. But at the same time, you don't ever want to kind of just sell yourself short and sell yourself to somewhere because you think you need them or you want to gain a lot of money really fast. It's just, um, it never really, never really works out that way. So just do the work, put in the work, have a plan, stick to the plan, believe, dream, and everything will be all right. So yeah, that's the celebrity news with the spiritual perspective for this week. Um, we'll be right back after these messages. Content creators, artists, entrepreneurs, Nobody owes you shit. There is a mentality among creators that since they are chasing their dreams that everyone else should help them in the process. And that's the farthest thing from the truth. The fact of the matter is, today's consumer has more shit shoved down their throat than they have at any point in history. And your sense of entitlement is only making things worse. I'm the hottest nigga in the streets. If y'all don't listen to me, y'all stupid. You guys should support us. We are a black owned business. Bruh. <laughs> I, I am going to be on everything. 
<laughs> and you really just can't quit one of them. Do what you do for the love of it and watch how others attract to it. Hey, I like that. Meet the scan, a simple procedure whose mission is to detect lung cancer early. I'm here to save you. But I feel fine. That's great, but you may still be at high risk for lung cancer. Oh man, that's a new fence. If you smoke, early detection could save your life. Learn more at savedbythescan.org. How to know better. No, not know better. Know better. And say no to stuff that doesn't serve you. So, like I said, creating boundaries for people, places, things, situations, jobs, all that shit that, you, that is just not for you energetically. Like, and a, a, how to do this is really gotta be honest with yourself. You get whenever, no matter what it is, every time you step out your door, every time you leave your crib and you go on and you do some shit with your day, ask okay is this serving my highest purpose is this really what i'm trying to be doing or am i just making um am i compromising with the world and don't get me wrong like you have to compromise in the world like everything is a balance so you can't just always be self-serving and always you know what i'm saying just no if i don't feel like doing some shit like yeah you got to make exceptions you got to do the shit you have to do to do the shit you want to do but at the same time we can get carried away with this shit and then we'll get into a situation where we're just always saying yes to the external world, always saying yes to people, always saying yes, I can work extra at this job, always saying yes, I can do favors for people, always saying yes. Even at like, even think about when you go to like stores and they go and, and, and like, it's crazy now. Like you go to a store and motherfuckers don't do shit but take your goddamn order and they, the little shit pop up on the screen. It's like, you wanna leave a 15 to 20% tip, nigga. You didn't do shit but press a button and take my fucking order? No, no, I don't wanna leave no fucking tip. But you don't wanna be looked at as being broke or being an asshole or being some fucked up shit. When it really, it's just like, I mean, if you wanna give a tip, sure. Like, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing right or wrong. But what I'm saying is, if it's a no to you, then then stand on that. Really, really practice that no. Like, cause otherwise you're gonna, that's if you always say yes to shit that's really a no to you, then you trick the universe into thinking, okay, well, this nigga wants more of these kind of situations. Like, there's no brownie points, there's no rewards, there's no, like, you know, there's no rewards for, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, um, like, there's no brownie points. Like, you can't just compromise yourself all the time and think you're gonna get a pat on the head from, me. oh, okay, this person always looks out for other people and never does what they wanna do. Let me give him everything he desires. No. It's not gonna work like that. It's just gonna keep giving you the same bullshit that you say, that you feel is a no, but you keep saying yes to. Like, you have to externalize this shit or else the universe is just gonna give you the same bullshit. So ask yourself, like create boundaries is one. The second is ask yourself honestly, is it a no for me? If it's really a no for me, then say no. Don't be afraid, there's nothing toxic, there's nothing wrong about saying no. There's nothing toxic about trusting your intuition and not doing shit you don't wanna feel like doing. Again, if you always compromise and do shit that you don't feel like doing, the universe is just gonna keep putting you in situations where you gotta do shit you don't really feel like doing. And you're wondering why, like, damn, I'm a good person. You know what I'm saying? I help people, I do this, I go to work, but I'm still broke, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm nice to people, but they're not nice to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I do this, I do that, I, you know what I'm saying? And, and when am I gonna get my turn? Only you can decide when you get your turn. No one's gonna just, the universe is gonna give you your turn for being a good little dude. Like, we get trapped in this little goody two-shoes shit where it's just like, nothing's good or bad. It's just like, this shit is just an algorithm. You gotta know how to work it. <clears throat> and your internal guide, AKA that no in you that says, no, fuck that, I don't feel like doing that shit. That is your internal guide, but you gotta externalize it. You can't just, you know what I'm saying, feel it and then repress it. It's not gonna do shit for you. So like I said, if it's a no for you and you just wanna say yes to please somebody else in the external world, then you're gonna keep getting bullshit situations that you don't really rock with. Now time for the astrological breakdown. 
Um, September 22nd, 20, no, I'm sorry, September 23rd, 2022, marked the beginning of Libra season. Now, why is this important, you may ask? Um, people who aren't into astrology, you know, may just hear certain things about you being a certain sun sign or Mercury retrograde or la la la, and just kind of think this is all bobbycock. But um, actually, the, um, you know, the, 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 the planets in the heavenly bodies um, affect us on a day-to-day -day basis, whether we like to acknowledge it or not. So the more you can understand what is going on out there in the cosmos, the more you'll be able to better align your day-to-day -day actions so that you're not kind of moving out of step with the universe or kind of going against the grain of the universe. Um, once you kind of understand the different planets and what they signify, the different seasons, the different, um, you know, the different elements and what, what, you know, I'm saying what they all kind of mean, then you can kind of correlate your day to day activities with the planetary bodies so that you have, you know, um, a helping hand in, in the day to day life. And you're not just kind of out here acting on your own volition. No, you're still acting on your own volition, but now you have the help of the entire universe behind you. Mm, excuse me, got to bleep that out. <laughs> you have the help of the entire universe behind you, and you're not just kind of doing things uh, because you feel like, you know, you're paying attention to too much earthly stuff, and you're going, you're dealing with too much fire energy in a water season, or you're dealing with too much earth energy in an air season, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's always good to understand what season we're in. Um, good to keep track of the moon transits and know where the moon is. And, and in regards to the sun and whether there's an opposition or the sextile going on and then also knowing um, your own natal chart to kind of correlate your own strengths and weaknesses and basically line all these things up to execute on your day to day. Now, that being said, <coughs> um, we are in Libra season. So this is the beginning of fall and Libra season is, first of all, it's an air sign. It represents cardinal air. So this season is all about communicating and you know using logic you know because that's what air signs represent that's what the air element represents you know logic communication i need air to talk to you you know what i'm saying um air the upper chakras in your head and things like that but then also libra especially <laughs> um it represents balance so you know when you have balance with other people and other things you're not just always thinking about yourself, you're thinking about yourself, yes, but you're thinking about them as well, and you're trying to find that balance between things. So this is a good seat sign um, to kind of connect with people. You know, we think Libra season is like um, balance, but it's also kind of the, um, the relationship uh, sign. You know, all, all air signs are kind of built on relationship. You know, Gemini is more oriented towards friendships, Whereas, um, you know, Libra is actually kind of more oriented towards relationships, which could be romantic, but also could just be, you know, just relationships with the family, relationships with yourself, even um, relationships, things, um, not really on a friendly basis, but on a more kind of intimate basis. And then you have Aquarius, which is more oriented towards association. So this is more kind of business minded and kind of networky type energy. So, but all these air signs, um, are dealing with some form of relating to other individuals. So they're not, it's not a good time to be selfish. It's not a good time to, you know, only think about yourself. It's not a good time to, you know, say, oh, I want to do this. I only want to stick to this. No, um, this is a really good time to build your network, a really good time to even form a relationship. At the beginning of fall, you know, what they call cuffing season. Um, if you've been kind of not too worried about these energies in the past, but you feel like um, you could use some work in these energies, this is a good time to kind of embark on that. So you might want to cert set certain objectives that have to do to, um, you know, um, or even if you're already in a relationship with someone, this would be a good time to kind of, you know, kind of ref refresh that relationship. Or if you're not, you know, trying to um, embark on different things on a day-to-day -day basis that may help you attract a partner excuse me, um, attract a partner and then just basically, you know, build your relationships because, you know, teamwork makes the dream work. And it's a good, like I said, air communication. So it's a good time to be communicating with people. Also, 
um, I believe on October 2nd, Mercury finally leaves metro <laughs> metrograde. Mercury finally exits retrograde. So Mercury, retro, Merc Mercury um, is a, uh, that's the planet that actually rules intellect and communication and thinking and stuff like that. So while Mercury is in retrograde, we might have been, ex we might have been experiencing a lot of miscommunication, um, a lot of technological errors, things going wrong, you sending out wrong emails or just missing the mark with people and that kind of stuff. So there's been a lot of uh, miscommunication with Mercury retrograde going on. But now that Mercury is going direct in Libra season, this is kind of an extra emphasis to say, oh, okay, well, it's Libra season and Mercury is Mercury's leaving retrograde. This is a good time for me to kind of um, work on my relation, my, not even say relationships, work on my relatability. Because um, it can even be with yourself. You can do all these things internally. Um, pay attention to the way that you're speaking to yourself. If you don't, if you have a lot of negative self-talk um, as a habit, which a lot of us do, you know, we might, you know, put on a smile every day, but deep down in ourselves, we might beat ourselves up, even if we're only doing it jokingly, right? Well, your your subconscious mind doesn't know if you're joking or not, so it's never good to say these things, even if you think you're just joking with yourself, say, oh, I'm so dumb, or I'm so fat, or I'm so ugly, ha, 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 you should love me anyway. No, <laughs> because at the end of the day, um, it doesn't really matter what physical traits you have, as long as you can have maintain a good, healthy relationship with yourself, you will naturally be attractive. You will naturally glow um, to others in the world because you, it all starts internally and you've fostered a good relationship with yourself um, no matter what you physically look like. So now that's going to um, be, that's kind of going to be shined to other people. They're going to say, oh, you know, I'm kind of like this person, even though they have this, that, and the third, which I don't typically like. Well, that's because you formulated a good relationship with yourself. So if you've been neglecting your relationship with yourself, if you've been neglecting relationships with other people, um, with the sun going into Libra from September 23rd until October 22nd, um, that's a good window to, um, you know, work on that energy. Um, you know, get put yourself out there, become more relatable, talk to yourself well, <laughs> just develop healthy relationships with yourself. Um, that's what this season is all, with yourself and with others, that's what this season is all about. And like I said, um, as we keep track of the different transits, um, you know, that's the kind of overall for the month, that's the sun transit, but the moon changes signs every two, two and a half days. So throughout this, um, this, this um, sun being in Libra, and we're working on relationships, that can be the kind of overarching goal, but keeping track of the moon transits will help you, you know, kind of um, sketch out your day-to-day -day tasks. So if the moon's in Aries or something, then you might want to be, you know, sort of aggressive, and, but Aries is kind of more um, personal energy as well. So you might want to foster, you might want to be aggressive on working your, with your relationship with yourself, Whereas, let's say, if the, uh, if the moon's in Gemini, then you might want to um, use this time to work on your relationship with your friends and things of that nature. If the moon's in Scorpio, you might want to um, work on your relationship with your habits, with your deep desires. Um, see if they're kind of, if you're indulging into them too much or if you need to kind of put more balance into your relationship with your deep desires and kind of step away from them. They may be putting you in a situation where you're um, always being too self-centered and this can actually be hurting your relationships with other people. So the more you can kind of temper that relationship with your desires, the more you can um, become more relatable to other people. So like I said, keeping track of the moon transits will kind of help you get into the nitty gritty day by day. But the overall emphasis for the month of, well, late September and most of October, Libra season is gonna be emphasized on relationship building because teamwork makes the dream work always at the end of the day. I don't know why I put my two fingers up for the peace sign. Um, I wasn't finished talking yet, but this is probably a sign like the music coming on at the Oscars or the Grammys or the Emmys or whatever. Do they do that at all of those? They probably do. <laughs> Put the music on that I need to shut up and move on to the next topic. Bro, these bills never stop. Oh my God. Fuck it. I might just put in a job application. You're not a boss. Dang. A real boss knows you gotta be broke sometimes. A real boss embraces the pain. Pause. I mean, it's not like I'm getting rid of my business, you know, I'm just... How are you a boss if you have to call another man boss? I mean, technically, I'm still... Does your son enjoy hearing you call another man boss? I don't have any kids. I can get my son a job at any one of my companies because I'm the boss. 
You want a job for yourself. That's selfish. I just think it's a good source of alternative income that I can put into my music until I get like a label behind me. Or something. Record labels rob you. They're culture vultures. I feel like if I invest in myself with the money from the job, then when I do negotiate- A real boss puts up his own money. If you're not putting up your own money, you're not a boss. I don't have any money, Dame. That's an excuse. You sold crack, Dame. I put in this motherfucking job application. You're angry because your body is filled with dead flesh. Get out. Eva Marie smoked 12,000 packs of cigarettes over 15 years. She quit, and now there's a new lung cancer screening that could save her life. You stopped smoking, now start screening. No matter how much you smoked, early detection could save you. Talk to your doctor or learn more at savedbythescan.org. So that's the show for this week. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little. I hope you laughed a little. And um, yeah, we're going to close out with a performance from our musical guest, Saint Uno, performing his smash single, Boo! I love that song. You know I'm a boo. Check it out, and I'll see you guys next time. Santo with the guapo, guapo. posted on the blocko, blocko. smoking on some naco, yeah. lettuce like a taco, oh. cheddar like a nacho, oh. I've been getting guapo with my eyes closed, fuck a blindfold, I'm smoking on gelato, I'm in the pain gelato, oh. she saw my dick and said she didn't look bit it what you like for, oh, yeah. I'm popping like be papo, oh. I'm trying like be papo, uh, carry you the macho, he might hit you with the draco, uh, with some in the trickle, I'm stacking up my pizza, I'm stacking up like Lego, she sucking on my arrows. I'm half a hose to let go, I'm half a hose to let go. Oh. I'm jumping out the rifle, oh. I'm jumping out the rifle. Oh. Hey, the shawty, yo, like your body, yo. It's waiting on me, I'm just saying I don't mean to be rude. I'm shining, oh, yeah, they blinding, oh. Feed you all the like a faucet on me, straight out the pool. What you like it, oh, I can buy it, no. Let's get high and then go get us some food That was shining on, then it blinding on Chain stupid gang, stupid girl, you know I'm a fool Oh, 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 let me, let me, whoa, whoa For the, for the, low, low, not her, not her Down, down, dama, dama, no, sugar, sloppy, sloppy, joe Whoa, like a, like a, bro, bro, wife of, no, never She wipe me down, she wipe me down like Mimi Yagi, yo, whoa Diamond shining, diamond shining, diamond got me froze bro. Got a diamond, bitch, I fly the bitch to Tokyo Yo. Girl, you lying, girl, you lying, girl, you got me swole oh. Like Pinocchio, no. she let me poke yo. yo Met right down the middle, <laughs> she my dusty dough I counted her on calendar, Ay. so shout out to my manager Ay. My mama name is Pamela, Ay. she taught me how to count it up, I get it Oh, no, whoa, I would never go, bro